transom mount, through-hole mount, in-hole mount. In this video, we will introduce some tips for installing a transom transducer on your boat. Transom transducers are attached to the back of the boat hull. It is the most popular mounting style for small size boats below 10 meters. Transom transducers are good for trailered boats because it is out of the way of the rollers. It is easy to install and remove, especially if a kick-up bracket is used. It performs well at speed under 30 knots. It can be used with any hull material. For engine types, transom transducers can be used with outboard engines and inboard outboard engines, but not with inboard engines, because there is turbulence forward of the transom. It is also not recommended for sailboats because of excessive healing. Next, installation location. To ensure the best performance, the transducer must be in contact with aeration-free and turbulence-free water. For twin engines boat, mount the transducer between the two engines either on or just off of the centerline. And for single engine boat, mount the transducer on the starboard side and 30 to 38 centimeters beyond the swing radius of the propeller. The mounting location should not be near water intake and discharge openings, or behind strakes, skegs, fittings, and hull irregularities. Next, installation angle. Hang the transducer parallel and under the waterline. For fiberglass hulls, the transducer bottom will be 3 to 6 mm lower than the hull. And for aluminum hulls, it will be 6 to 9 mm. The transducer will be 2 to 5 degrees down from the line of hull. Installing too high or low will create cavitation. You can identify the installation angle from the sonar chart. This means the rear part of the transducer is too high. And this means it is too low. Transom transducers offer different kinds of capabilities. Watch our other videos to learn more. And that's the tutorial for transom transducers. In the next video, we will introduce in-hole transducers. Thanks for watching.